Hi, Bill. <laughs> it's Michaela and Kayla here. Hello. We just wanted to record this little video as kind of a send off to you after putting together some workout programs for you over the last eight weeks. Um, first off, we just wanted to thank you for letting us work with you, uh, doing the assessment and then getting to kind of create a personal fitness plan for you has been really fun for us. And I hope it's been fun for you too. Um, our goal kind of with this program, since we know you kind of wanted to just do more full body stuff, mobility, uh, maybe increase your cardio endurance a little bit. Our main goal is just to kind of give you some more exercises and stuff to put in your toolbox because we know you know a lot of stuff, um, but we just kind of wanted to help hone that in to a more specialized kind of program for you. Um, we obviously focus more on maybe some smaller muscles or some more circuits and stuff rather than just straight lifting. And we kind of did that because our goal with like these circuits was to get your heart rate up. Um, we know just general shoulder mobility was a big thing for you. So we like to include that. <laughs> and then um, going off that, moving forward, I would say you could do any lifts that you really enjoy doing. The reason we like the circuits again is for your heart rate. So really, incorporate maybe pick out four things that you like if you want to do like an upper body day maybe just do it in more of a circuit or supersets or something where you're taking less breaks because that's going to get your heart rate up and overall improve just your cardio and muscular endurance so when you're looking at this program that we've made or even your own as you create your own you can make lots of modifications to them um, so if you have a really busy day at work and you've already had a lot of activity um, maybe you don't have to hit the gym really hard, but you can work on some of that mobility work. Um, it's something that you can work on continually just because maybe you worked on it now and your mobility is getting better. doesn't mean that um, it'll always be that way. So it's a great thing to continue and have um, regularly in your exercise program. Um, we're also, we talked a lot about cardio. That's something that you had mentioned and um, cardiovascular fitness is very, very important. So we weren't necessarily concerned with the distance, um, but more with your heart rate, um, that you're getting your heart rate up um, around 125-ish, getting that moderate intensity in. Um, you can do different levels of cardio, um, a slower pace for longer, or um, going intense for shorter durations. Uh, so whatever works for you, if you like to switch it up, or if you have a favorite, um, as long as it's something that you're gonna enjoy. So our recommendations are um, to continue your strength training, as was mentioned, it's always good to uh, think of those smaller muscle groups that maybe you don't always work, um, adding in some variations to your exercises to hit those smaller muscles. Um, looking at that mobility, again, just continuing that throughout, not just doing it here and there, but it's a good thing to um, just regularly do. Um, doing your cardio, like I said, whatever is going to be something that you enjoy and something that you can get in regularly is going to be what's best. And rest is also really important. So like we said, if you have a really busy day um, or a really intense day, um, it's definitely okay to tone it back, take a rest day, um, maybe just do some mobility, um, but let your muscles recover. Um, and so that's really good too. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>